Today, I'm going to show you how you can spin up a fully functional app for your company in seconds. All you need to do is write a simple prompt in Airtable's new AI co-builder. It's a great way to prototype an idea, and it's going to let you skip a lot of the tedious manual work of setting up new bases and interfaces. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips on crafting the perfect prompt to get started. Then I'll walk you through the process of refining the AI's output to customize your Airtable app further by including specific fields and views that support your team's everyday workflows. If you'd like to build or manage a custom Airtable implementation for your company, check out our website at xray.tech to schedule a free consultation. And be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more workflow automation and AI deep dives every week. Now let's get started. So I'm just going to navigate to my tutorials base here, and I'm going to click on create to create a new base. Now you always have the option of starting from scratch, but today we're going to be building with AI. So this Airtable co-builder is brand new, and it really saves you a bunch of time when you're trying to set up a base for the first time, just configuring different fields and setting up interfaces that you know you're going to want. So they have a bunch of canned options right out the gate. You could go with a content calendar, task management system, a collaboration hub, approval process. There's a lot of different options out there. But today we're actually gonna focus on writing our own prompt right inside of here to generate what the interface and data structure is gonna be. We're gonna create a base dedicated to managing our company's content pipeline. Now this is a long prompt, but let's break it down a little bit further. We're trying to be as specific as possible at every layer of this base. I'm talking about the interface, the specific views that you want to see inside of the interfaces. I'm talking about the tables in the data side. We want to name the specific fields or the specific options inside of each field. And let's take a couple for examples. We're talking about different platforms that we want to be on. And we name LinkedIn, Facebook, X, TikTok, and YouTube specifically. We're talking about the specific fields here, and we call out a file upload. So hopefully our data table includes a file upload ability that we can just drop a raw footage video right into. And we even call out here a AI field. Now this is an experiment. I haven't actually done this yet before recording this video, so we'll see where it ends up. But I'm hoping that the Airtable AI co-builder can actually create AI fields inside of the data tab. I don't know if it'll work out like that, but we're gonna find out and see. And here, the calendar view. This is a specific view that I want it to include inside of the interface. Whenever you can, however you can, name the data, the tables, the formats, the fields, everything that you possibly can inside of your prompt. And when in doubt, just call out, hey, I want your help to figure out these options inside of this single select field or whatever it may be, but naming it and trying to focus the AI on a certain element that you want it to expand on. Now, this isn't gonna build everything. The thing that you need to keep in mind here is that this is just a starting point. Hopefully it saves you a half hour and 500 clicks, and that would be success for an AI co-builder like this. From here, we just click next. And we wait, maybe even take a sip of coffee. Just like that, we know that there are two forms that this AI builder included. We have an overview and on the right hand side, we have a full actually working demo of what this is gonna look like. So you can see that there's an overview for content, there's an overview for themes, a themes dashboard, content campaigns, uh, and a calendar view where we can actually look at all of the different pieces of content added. Now, the question on the left, how does this look? Feel free to adjust anything you see or add more. So I do want to add more. I want to add something specific to assets and I want to add something specific to personas. And then I can click preview again. Generates the app again, but this time just make sure to add the assets and personas interface. Now it's unclear whether or not this actually changes the underlying data structure. I can only imagine that it does, uh, but it makes sure to include this in the interface. Now keep in mind, this is just a starting point. This isn't gonna be perfect on the first go, uh, but it is gonna save you time in setting up a lot of these fields. So let's make it green, because why not, and create this app. Just like that, we are in the interface 
of our fully built AI generated content pipeline for content management. We can flip through these different interfaces and see them. And of course we can just hit option one here to customize them. We can edit this app and we can be able to edit the interface like adding more counts or do anything you want in the interface. You'll notice that there are not automations. The AI co-builder does not include automations uh, or at least doesn't generate it from what I've been able to, to tell. Then there's the data side. And this is the most important thing that the co-builder actually builds. You have a whole bunch of tabs here. So there's a content tab, there is a themes tab, there's a campaigns tab, there's a calendar tab, assets and personas. So you'll notice that there's even templated data in here. There's some mock information to give you an idea of what this could be used for. So you have different interest tags. You see the linked records between the tables here. And we can even get into, you know, each individual target audience. Thank you, AI, for actually drafting this. Pretty, pretty neat. Now, one thing it didn't do, which I do want to point out, is it didn't add AI generated fields for us. You see that we requested it and it says AI drafted social media post. This isn't actually what we asked for. If we pop this open and edit the field type, we see that it's a single line text. That's not what we want. We don't want a single line text. We actually want an AI field to generate text based off of, you know, the, the content title or something we want to generate a social media post. So really quickly, we could just grab a template here to, in this case, you know, draft a tweet and we can generate that tweet based off of content to be summarized into the tweet. It's just going to be the content description. And we're just going to use this template right away. Fantastic, exciting news, how automation is transforming industries and why it's a game changer for you. Dive in now. Sounds like an okay tweet. And we'll add that here and just click save. So now this entire column is an AI generated social media post. So this is what I was actually looking for. It looks like the AI co-builder doesn't add AI fields just yet. I'm sure that's something that they'll add sometime soon. But this is a really important milestone, I think, for Airtable co-builder. The fact that there's all of these fields and all of these tables uh, linked to each other with some mock data set up for you and interfaces that are somewhat intuitive. I mean, looking at these different personas, being able to browse what is inside of the table without being overwhelmed by all the fields is really, really useful. Now, one thing I have to call out here is we didn't ask for a form. Nowhere in my prompt did I say the word form, but somehow we have two right here for uploading new content and creating a new campaign. Now that is super cool and intuitive that the AI actually understood that, hey, this is a part of a workflow. And at some point, we're gonna need to add content into the system. So a form is a really great way to do it. Overall, I'm really happy with the fields and interfaces and forms that it generated without me even having to ask. So this is a great start and definitely saved me a bunch of clicks to get this base set up. So hopefully in the near future, we'll see AI Co-Builder be able to actually add AI fields into the data side. But for now, this is a great start and I encourage you to give it a try on your own. Experiment with longer prompts and try to build something that you can use every day. Setting up a new Airtable base from scratch can be a tedious repetitive process, but with the new AI powered co-builder, you can create a base complete with interfaces in a matter of seconds. Try it out today to start prototyping and building faster than ever. If you enjoyed this video, prove you're human, like and subscribe for more automation tips every single week. If you'd like to learn more about low code automation and workflow design, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, or Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. You can find all those links in the resources board down below. And as always, find your focus and stay in flow.